Now, Jason, just like the local coffee place, I'm not quite sure if this is open or closed in its architecture. This is a Jupiter 8 from Symmetrix. Yeah. Can you enlighten me? Well, it's a bit of both, Jimmy. Uh, now, under the hood, this is an open architecture DSP, but the way that Symmetrix have implemented the user interface, it's kind of fixed. Fixed in that, at the moment, there are 70 different uh, preset configurations you can load into it. So what they're going for with this product is that you, know, you open up the software, you pick you know, 70 different sort of setups from your application, your application as they're calling it, uh, which you can get with the software or download from their website, and then bang, all the components are then loaded in, and off you go and start making you know gainer EQ. You, you know, there's setups for BGM, paging, sound reinforcement, uh, gain sharing, auto mixing, and that kind of stuff. So what they're trying to do is cut all the programming time out of the integration and save people money. Mm. Yeah, because the actual programming time in an open architecture system is. Mm. Is, is a good chunk of the amount of commissioning time. You've still got all yep. your, uh, your level alignment and calibration and things like that, mm. and that's stuff that you do in situ, mm. um, but your actual DSP design typically happens in advance. Mm. But if you save the time doing that, you can get straight onto setting it up. Um, I think another thing they've done well is, is they've carried that through into the control side of it. Mm. Obviously, mm. this is an 8x8 audio device, but it's also got some GPIO on the back. Mm. It's got Ethernet, and it's got the ARC connector, which links out to the little ARC wall panels. Mm -hmm. And you can program any of those sorts of interfaces mm. very easily. There's a sort of wizard that you go through and says, what kind of interface do you want to mm. Uh, do you want to make a switch or a potentiometer or an arc panel or a web panel? Mm. And it even gives you a handy little graphic of how to wire up the GPOs. Yeah, it's yeah, I, I, I really like that. Um, look, I think what they've done is they've they've made open architecture a bit more accessible mm. um, and it's quite affordable too. Yeah, yeah, very much so. Look, I think uh, it gives that peace of mind, I think, to a consultant or designer saying, right, if I put one of these in and say, right, load up this preset, there's really not a lot that can go wrong. I mean, mm. then you connect the panels or the GPIOs, it even tells you how to do it. Mm. It's, it's, it's open architecture sort of done very gently and uh, accessibly. Yeah, I think it's 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 alarmingly accessible. Mm. Um, there's no buttons on the front panel. Mm. Uh, you know, it's a compact little device. Uh, it's funny, I think, for me, the the thing about audio processing is is how little it physically feels like you actually get for your <laughs> yeah. money. Mm. And you know, it's not it's not exactly a big imposing box, no. but it's certainly got the horsepower under the hood. Yeah, I think it's going to suit quite a lot of applications, and yeah, it's just really easy to use. Mm. Agreed. Mm.